Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to prepare for an artificial intelligence job interview. So if you are applying for any AI role whatsoever with any organization, make sure you stay tuned because I promise to help you pass your interview at the first attempt. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover in this tutorial, number one. So I will give you a list of artificial intelligence job interview questions I strongly recommend you prepare for. Now, during your AI job interview, you will have to answer motivational interview questions, behavioral interview questions, and also technical-based questions. Now, we'll cover those during this tutorial. Number two, I will give you two really important tips for answering each of those interview questions correctly to get the highest scores achievable. Number three, I will then give you an example answer to each AI job interview question to help you pass. And then finally, number four, I will tell you where you can instantly download my full set of 22 artificial intelligence job interview questions and answers in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Literally thousands of you are passing your interviews at the first attempt. I can only help you if you are subscribed. And please just give the video a like because that tells me you find these tutorials useful and it motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, the first AI job interview question I want you to prepare for is, tell me about yourself. So this will be the first artificial intelligence job interview question you must answer. I recommend you practice your response until you know it off by heart, because this will ensure your interview not only gets off to a positive start, but it tells the hiring manager you have strong communication skills and those skills are needed in all AI job roles. And tip number two, in your answer, talk about the skills you can bring to the position your qualifications and experience, and talk about one significant achievement you have gained in your work or personal life so far. Because that then demonstrates you are someone who is set out and dedicated to achieving great things in your work. Here's my example answer to help you. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for the opportunity to be interviewed for this AI position with your organization today. I would describe myself as a forward-thinking, technically astute and innovative collaborator who enjoys solving problems, working on challenging projects and seeking opportunities to capitalise on for my employer. I have a track record of achievement. Not only did I achieve excellent academic qualifications that will be useful to this industry, but I helped my previous employer launch a new artificial intelligence driven software app that was industry leading. Outside of work, I keep myself fit and active, so my concentration and energy levels are always high, and I take ownership of my professional development to ensure my skills are kept updated with the ever-changing trends and opportunities that occur within artificial intelligence. Now, if you hire me, I will add value to the organization by bringing a wealth of technical knowledge and new ideas to the team, and I will collaborate closely with my co-workers to achieve the company's strategic and commercial objectives. That is a brilliant top-scoring example answer to that first artificial intelligence job interview question. Tell me about yourself. Now, you can either Pause the video if you want to and write down the questions and answers as we work through them together. Or if you wait, I will soon tell you where you can instantly download my full set of 22 AI job interview questions and top scoring responses in a PDF guide. Here's the next question I want you to prepare for. Why do you want to work in artificial intelligence? Here's two tips. Tip number one. Now, lots of people right now want to get into the AI industry because it's the latest thing. However, those candidates will probably not be committed to a company for the long term. Tip number two. In your answer, talk about the opportunities AI presents 
how you will be kept busy, pushed and challenged in your work, and also the earning potential, because the earning potential is definitely there in the AI industry right now. So here's my example answer to assist you. Why do you want to work in artificial intelligence? I want to work in AI for three reasons. First, I thrive on new technology because it excites me and I can see numerous opportunities for my employer to get involved in. This means I am always kept interested, busy and challenged. Second, I want to work in artificial intelligence because it means we can be the first to create new and innovative ideas that shape how people interact with the technology. Finally, I want to work in artificial intelligence because the earning potential is good. Now, although I am not motivated by money, if I can get rewarded for carrying out excellent work and helping my employer achieve great things, then it's a bonus. That's a really good answer. I have a top scoring response that will put you ahead of the competition at your AI job interview. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, you can click that link in the top right hand corner of the video and head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com and instantly download my full set of 22 artificial intelligence interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today in this presentation. Here's the next question for you. What strengths can you bring to this AI position? Tip number one. Now, it is essential that you align your strengths with those listed on the AI job description. Make sure you read the job description before your interview. Tip number two, the most effective way to answer this common AI interview question is to also give strengths that add a monetary value to their organization. What do I mean by that? Well, here's my example answer to explain. What strengths can you bring to this AI position? I can bring numerous strengths that are a great match for the job description. I can also bring additional strengths that will add value to your company. Strengths that match the job description include programming, database modeling experience, data processing, machine learning capabilities, and knowledge of intelligent user interfaces. I can also bring good communication skills, a selfless attitude when collaborating with others, and proven problem-solving skills. Now, in terms of the strengths that will add value to your company, I can bring a creative mindset whereby I generate new AI-driven ideas to help increase business turnover and a cost-conscious approach to my work to ensure you save money. That is a really smart answer to that common AI interview question. What strengths can you bring to this AI position? You are loading the first part of your answer with job description strengths, and then you are giving two strengths that add a monetary value to their organization. It's a great way for answering that common question. Now, I also recommend you prepare for technical based questions during your AI interview. Let me give you some example questions to practice. What's the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning? Here's my example answer. In simple terms, both machine learning and deep learning are types of artificial intelligence. Machine learning is capable of adapting without too much human interaction or interference. Deep learning, on the other hand, is a subset of machine learning. It utilizes artificial neural networks to imitate the human brain's learning process. Here's another question. What are the different types of AI? Here's an example answer. There are many different types of AI. Supervised learning is learning from labeled data, whereas unsupervised learning is learning from unlabeled data. Then there is reinforcement learning. This is learning through rewards and punishments. Deep learning AI is a set of complex neural networks that are generated for pattern recognition. Natural language processing teaches machines to understand human language. Computer vision teaches machines to interpret visual data. And robotics is creating intelligent machines that can perform specific tasks. 
Okay, let's now move on to another motivational AI interview question, and that is, what's your biggest weakness? Here's two tips. So this is another common artificial intelligence job interview question that I strongly recommend you prepare for. Do not, whatever you do, give a weakness that is a match for anything listed on that job description. Tip number two, now your weakness might be finding it difficult to say no to people or public speaking is another good example weakness to give. Here's my top scoring example response. What's your biggest weakness? My biggest weakness is I find it difficult saying no to people. I automatically say yes whenever someone asks me for help. Although I will always take on as much work as possible, I need to learn to assess my capacity for additional work before saying yes to ensure it doesn't affect my main responsibilities. I love that weakness. It's a really good one to give for AI job interviews because it says you are willing to do as much work as possible. Here's the next question. Give some examples of AI applications and common uses. This comes up all the time during artificial intelligence job interviews. Here's my example answer. Give some examples of AI applications and common uses. The current and more common AI applications include virtual personal assistants for voice recognition such as Siri and Alexa, etc. AI is used in finance and banking operations for fraud detection and also security industries for image and video recognition during surveillance operations. AI is brilliant when used for speech recognition while transcribing audio and dictation and it is becoming more useful in autonomous vehicles within the transportation industry. Other uses include customer service chatbots, predictive analytics for personalized marketing and advertising, medical diagnosis and treatment planning, and predictive maintenance in manufacturing to reduce equipment downtime. So that's a really good comprehensive and confident answer to help you pass your interview. Here's another technical based question. What is the difference between weak AI and strong AI? Here's my example answer. Weak AI has a narrow application with limited scope. It is good at specific tasks, but does not have human level intelligence. Weak AI utilizes supervised and unsupervised learning to process data. Examples of applications that have weak AI include Siri and Alexa. Strong AI, however, has a wider application with huge scope. It has an amazing level of human intelligence and uses clustering and association for data processing. An example of strong AI is robotics. Here's the next question, another motivational one. Why do you want to work for us? Tip number one. So this is another question that will come up during your artificial intelligence job interview. It is assessing your motivations for wanting to work for their company. Now in your response, make sure you state you have researched their company. This is really important. Here's my top scoring example answer to help you. Why do you want to work for us? I want to work for you because I see lots of opportunities in the artificial intelligence industry for me to make a difference to your company. Over the years, I've built up extensive experience in various fields and organizations. In particular, the experience I have gained in AI will benefit your organization. I also want to work for you because during my research and with the people I spoke to, it quickly became apparent that you are innovative, supportive and forward thinking. You will give me the creative freedom to find solutions for your business that help you drive forward and maintain your high standing position in this industry. That's a really good, powerful and positive answer that will help you pass your interview. Now, the next thing to do is click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video, head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download my full set of 22 artificial intelligence job interview questions and top scoring answers in a PDF guide. The guide includes all of the answers I've just given you during this tutorial and more. Make sure you go through to that website because also on that page, I've given you five additional tips for preparing for any AI job interview. And I've also given you some questions to ask at the end of your AI interview. So at the end of your interview, they'll say, that's the end of the interview. Do you have any questions for us? 
The majority of candidates say, no, it's okay, you covered everything in the interview, I don't have any questions. But that's a big mistake. You should ask three or four smart questions that demonstrate you're going to be a great asset to their company. I will tell you on that page which questions to ask. Finally, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please give the video a like. That really does motivate me to create more content for you. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It's always a pleasure to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your AI job interview. Have a great day.